Okay, friends, it is October. Are you guys ready to see our new calendar? I love all the bright colors. Let's walk through of what we're going to do. Okay, the first thing we need to do is move this box to whatever day it is. So, when you're watching the video for the first time, it is October 1st. And down in this box, we're going to practice typing the date. So you got to click it twice. And then you're going to type with your keyboard what day it is. So if you look, it is Thursday. So we're going to put in Thursday. We're going to practice spelling it. Thursday, October 1. And then a comma, 2020. Okay, we did our date. We moved our box. Now you can choose a video. We have the days of the week song, or you can click months of the year song. You get to choose. These birthday cakes in the corner, if you know your birthday is this month, you can move your birthday cake to your birthday month. So this month, we actually have lots of birthdays. Let's look at our my calendar. We have a birthday on the 6th. We have a birthday on the 7th. Somebody has a birthday on the 10th. And someone has a birthday on the 16th. Look at all of those birthdays we have today. There we go. There, I made a copy. Awesome. Oh, one behind Miss Nielsen. Okay, so move the day. Type in the day, the month, the date, and the year. And then if you want to watch a song, you can watch a song. We're going to go to the next slide. So in Google Classroom, I'm always going to put what the date, how many days of school we've had. Let's pretend we've had 36 days of school. So over here, number of days, I'm going to write 36. Mm, what is 36? And one more. It's covered up, so we have to use our mathematician brains. I had 36 and I had one more. It is 37. What if I have 36 and I have one less? If I have one less, that'd be 35. Okay, now let's try 10 more. If I have 36 and I have 10 more, it is going to be 46. Now let's try 36. And 10 less is 26. Okay, after you type in all of your numbers, you can choose a video to watch and then go to the next slide. So this example, we're on day 36. So I'm going to move over three tens because there are three tens in 31, two, three, and six ones. One two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'll move that up so you can see it. Okay, so we have 36. Now I gotta type in our boxes. How many tens do we have? One, two, three. I'm gonna put in three tens. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, one. So click twice and you type in six. Hmm, what is three tens and six ones? It is 36. So on the next row, we're going to do the expanded form. So three tens is 30. Plus six ones is six. What is 30 plus six equal to? 36. Dun, dun, dun. You are done with this slide. Let's go to the next slide. This is our last slide. 
Okay, these numbers are going to change every day. Sometimes it will be 6 and 15. Sometimes it might be 1 and 1 or 100 and 1 and 100 and 1. Or it might be 5 and 20 or 20 and 5. You got to look at the numbers, okay? We have to drag and drop. Is it less than, equal to, or greater than? Now we learned about this a couple weeks ago. The alligator is always hungry. It's always going to eat the bigger number. So today I'm going to move less than right in the circle. And I have to match greater than or less than. Today is less than. So I'm going to move less than and put it so I remember that this symbol is less than. Okay, friends, that is it for calendar. Go have fun. Move the date. Type in the month and the day. Figure out 10 more, 10 less, one more, one less. Work on our hundreds chart, on our place value chart, and then greater than or less than. Okay, friends, have fun doing your math calendar. I will see you soon. Goodbye.